everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. And as you guys can tell already, by all the ish that we got in front of you, it's going to be a long day. We got a lot of stuff to get through here today. Well, I, I don't know how long it's going to take, but you guys can see by the overwhelming figure amount that we got going on that we are going to be doing a lot like there's a lot of parts involved there's a lot of moving stuff a frankenstein effort if you will like we like to call it here on the channel but i'm very excited to get into what we're going to do here today i think it's all going to pan out pretty damn good and i'm pretty excited for it guys so let's go ahead and get straight into it you know we got to start off with the guy that's on the stretcher because that's usually how we do it so let's go ahead and get started guys we do have our chase variant Dolph ziggler right here this is actually my second one took me a minute to finally get one. You guys know that I finally tracked this thing down. I conducted a trade and I'm so thankful for that trade because today we're finally going to be doing the fix up that I've been wanting to do forever. I couldn't get my hands on another Chase variant Dolph Ziggler but here he is today and I'm excited. We do have to touch him up a little bit. There's some stuff going on on the trunks. I may have to touch up this logo right here because the crew part right there is messed up a little bit. I don't know if I'll put that in the video or not because it's going to be really hard to get it. Still working on getting like a GoPro or some type of camera that I can strap to my forehead when I'm doing those small details so I can plug the footage in afterwards but for now this is what we're going to be doing guys we're going to take this figure right here you guys can see he has black arm tape right but these are Shawn Michael arms and they're the skin tone is not correct I don't know if you guys can see but clearly this is a lighter skin tone than the Dolph Ziggler skin tone we're going to be swapping on these basic I want to say it's basic I don't know I don't want to I don't want to guess wrong maybe basic 79 or something like that they're the basic Dolph Ziggler arms that come on the uh, it's like that it's like that kickstart my Lana basic or whatever. We're going to put these arms on here to give him the black wrist tape to tie in to the rest of the attire. And not only that, guys, we're also going to be switching the boots with this guy back here, which is the Elite 39 boots. So these black and white boots will go over on the pink attire. You guys know I already have the white tape and white boots. We're going to be switching it out for the black tape and black boots. But that's not all we're going to do. When we switch these boots over to the Chase variant, we're also going to take these extra boots I have right here that are Ziggler and put them onto my fantasy attire right here with the black and you know the show off and stuff but that is not also what we're going to do we're also going to put on this extra elite 70 head sculpt on here just to see what it looks like it may look dumb it may look stupid but kind of want to play with it see what it looks like and that is what we're going to be doing with Ziggler so we got a fi we finally got a Ziggler fix up here on action figure surgery I can't tell you the last time we did a Ziggler fix up that I was this excited about we may not have ever done a Ziggler fix up on action figure surgery that I was this excited about the, the level of excitement is definitely up there but that is not all we have we also have our fix up on our Roman Reigns you guys know that I used to use this as my current day Roman Reigns right well today we're going to be taking this Roman with the hoodie and we're going to be taking my new Elite 79 Roman and we're going to be turning uh, this one into a 2020 Roman so what I plan on doing just stick with me a little bit right here we're going to switch the gold gauntlets over to the red Roman and uh, that will be it for him today I'm not going to finish doing that but I am going to switch these gauntlets over here here so he has the solid black ones and I'm going to keep the gold lines on this one when I pop it over here because I'm going to paint those red eventually. Not today because we have so, we have so much going on right here today that I don't want to spend too much time on that but I want to switch these gauntlets over here hold these for another day. I'll paint the gold gauntlets red and then we'll switch the all black over here because we're also going to be removing this vest popping this head sculpt off and popping on the Elite 84 to give me my current day 2020 updated Roman because we turned our 20 2020 Roman into this promo attire Roman. So you guys see, we're, we're trying to backtrack a little bit. We're trying to fix up our Romans, trying to get everything going. So that is another fix up we have to do. So that will be the uh, the other Roman Reigns that we got to work on today. Two Roman Reigns, two Dolph Zigglers, and we're not finished just yet, guys, because for the grand finale, we got to get our Usos in here. I tracked down these Usos for a reason, right? So here's what we got. Let's go ahead and dive into it. You guys know the Elite 54 Usos. You got the really sick-ass J, and then you got the not so sick ass Jimmy is what we need to call him. Look at this head sculpt. Not good. Not a good head sculpt. So the first thing we're going to do is switch on the screaming head sculpt. Now I know you're probably thinking MDT. That's literally the head sculpt that you bitched about the other day. You said why is he yelling? Well he's still yelling but this head sculpt right here is a million times better than that head sculpt right there. So he's going to keep yelling. Okay? He's going to keep yelling and I'm going to keep yelling and he keeps yelling. So it looks like I'm going to keep yelling here today because I got to switch up this head sculpt. This head sculpt's god awful. So we're going to put this head over here 
to give them the full look, but do you think that's over, Brad? You think we're done? Hell no. We're gonna pop these legs off, because he is on ball joints. We're gonna pop these legs off right here. From there, we are going to paint the crotches black. We're gonna paint the crotches black, seal those up with our matte Mod Podge so it doesn't chip or any BS like that. From there, we will take these two John Cena Elites. I knew those hundred John Cenas would come in handy one football day. We're gonna switch on the thighs from these John Cenas to give them the shorts look, like the athletic shorts look. We're going to swap out the lower legs for their other Usos. So these over here with the black ankle tape and their same skin tone and their knee braces, or not knee braces, but knee pads. So they'll have this look right here. And what will that all match, Brad? That will match our Hell's Gate Roman Reigns, the way he looks on MDT with the all black, black and red. You got the red tights under the shorts there. I don't know if I'll paint their legs red like Roman, kind of like Roman, diff, you know, being a little bit different than them. And also, we'll have to decide on the wrist tape what you guys think would look best. I could also switch out the lower arms for their old Usos to give them the all black attire. So their, their wrist tape will be black, their shorts will be black, their tape will be black, all of that. Or we can leave the white wrist tape on there, see what that looks like, and then we could always change it at a later date. We could always paint their lower legs black. We could always paint their lower legs white. We could go over here. Tips of the shoes could be painted red or something. Lots of different things we can do. But before we get into all that, guys, we got to get all the parts switched, paint the crotches, get all those things going. And I've been talking a minute, so I'm going to shut the hell up and we're going to dive into this nice, excellent edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. So I guess our first order of business, guys, we might as well just get Roman Reigns sorted because I feel like Roman Reigns is probably going to be the easiest one. So we might as well get the easiest one knocked out. So I guess what we can do first is go ahead and remove this gold vest. I feel like I have an overwhelming amount of Roman vests, but you know what? The rich get richer here today because we're going to have even more for the thing. All right, so there's that. Uh, from there, we can just pop this smiley head face off. This is the Elite 79, so the head sculpt is interchangeable, I think. Jesus Christ. Jesus Lord. Lord, that's on there. I legit cannot get this off. I'm going to have to heat this up. Finally got that off. That's ridiculous. I hate that. That shouldn't happen ever. All right. So popping this hand off, plopping that there, taking off this gauntlet, taking off the other gauntlet like so, popping that there. And then all we got to do is take our Elite 84 head sculpt, plop this on here. Got that. Take this hand, plop that off, put that there, put this gauntlet over over here plug this hand back into the arm same thing on this side remove this hand pop this gauntlet off put it over here need to paint this gauntlet gold to be honest but you know for another day and there you go updated 2020 roman for the uh, you know videos and all that good stuff so that one is done we'll take a closer look at him at the end and then for this roman the left gauntlet and then the other gauntlet and then bam, all right, we will uh, paint those up on a different day. So what I plan on doing is painting over these gold lines with white and then coming back with red so that it's really saturated and looks nice with the hoodie and I think that'll look badass. I'm still thinking about painting the soles or something on these boots red. I think that will also make those look badass. Nonetheless, Roman is completed. Really simple stuff, nothing too immaculate with that guy, but uh, another Roman head sculpt. All right guys, next order of business is going to be switching the boots and the arms on this. So, uh, gonna be impossible to heat up all of it at the same time, but we can heat up these arms, these arms, this head, and that head. So, probably gonna heat it up like that, and like that, and like this, and like this. All right, that should be a good one right there. We're gonna break out the white trusty hair dryer. Then when we get the head and the arm switch, we'll have to flip them around and then heat up our boots, of course. You gotta be strategic about your white trusty hair dryer placement. You gotta let's a learn skill. Alright guys, we'll see if this is good enough. Hopefully that is the case. I'm really not worried about the oh my god, did you guys hear that? I didn't like that. That is not ready. But uh god, I forgot to get pliers. Yeah! All right, well, at least we can pop off these arms right here, and we can conduct our arm swap at least. And, uh, oh my god in heaven, his arms are on freaking fire. God, these are such good arms for Ziggler. That is just perfection. Uh, it's kind of a pun, if you guys get it. All right, well, I guess... Jesus Christ. All right. 
Lord in heaven. Oh, God in heaven. Just, just, just heat it up again, would you? All right, maybe that is long enough. All right, flip that around because we got to heat those up, of course. All right, got my pliers. You're going to grip this. I forgot this nick peg was stuck in here because I popped it, but you're just going to, oh, God. You're basically just going to grip that and then twist and pull. Oh, maybe you need to hold it with a towel. Yes, hold it with your shirt. So you just grip the bottom of that and then pull the head off like so, and then we will pop this head sculpt onto the fantasy attire like so. And then uh, we gotta switch these boots and then switch these boots. Jesus in heaven. Uh, yeah, we just gotta pop these off. So pop that off, pop that off, and then uh, these gotta get heated up still. So, yeah, well. Now I got extra white boots. You love to see that, but uh, let's go ahead and heat these up real quick. All right, that should be good, so let's, uh... Oh my god, the knee pad's on fire. Jesus heaven. All right, got the one boot, got the other boot, and then we're gonna plop these onto the chase variant. Okay, dude, don't, don't be like that. And then the other boot. All right, our chase variant is done. We'll take a closer look at him at the end with our Roman, of course. And then plopping these boots on. Booyah, and got it. All right, excellent, excellent. I think these, uh, this this fantasy attire Ziggler, I think these are big cast arms, which is kind of ridiculous, but it gets the job done, you know? All right, Ziggler done, both Romans done, extra fodder, get out of my face. All right, now we're moving into the main event, which is gonna be the big time stuff, and that is going to be our Uso. So for these Usos, what we're going to do first is go ahead and get, I guess, their legs off. Yeah, let's go ahead and just plop all these legs off. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna do like a like a freaking totem pole or like a, I don't know, a, a John Brown freaking, I don't know, a, a Staxis of sorts just, just right here. We're going to pop all these guys off their ball joints. This is just looking wackier and wackier, Brad, I tell you. I don't even know if this ish is going to work like this, but I know I got to get a pretty proficient stacking so that the heat will get supplied good enough so that we don't F everything up. All right, that's a pretty good... I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. You got, you got a little you got a little something special going on there, all in there, young men. All right, we're gonna supply the heat right up in the goodsies. I honestly need to tilt this up a little bit. Is there anything I could sit this on? Roman vest? No. Uh-oh. No. Hmm. Wheelchair? Oh, my. Screw it. I'll just hold it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did a very weird technique that I've never really done before, but you know what? It looks like it worked. At least the top guy worked. All right, that guy worked. All right, those two worked. Okay, the third one worked. Can we go for the freaking quad feed? Quad feed, yeah! Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, yes, yes! Let's go. So it looks like that technique is successful. All right, what we gotta do now is... Unfortunately, now we have all these jogger legs, and I don't know, I could get use out of these shoes, these legs, maybe. We might could use these jogger legs somewhere down the line, but for now, we do not need them. So we're going to move them over to the side here, and what we got to do now is we got to get these lower legs detached from these. So what I'm thinking is we probably need to heat up all these lower legs together. So not only these four legs, but also these, which is going to be garbage. Garbage, but you know what? You just you got to do things you don't want to do sometimes, Brad. Okay, all right. This is gonna suck eggs, but you gotta do it. You gotta freaking do it. All right. Now we have to heat up all four of these. We gotta detach the lower legs of these Usos and the lower legs of these Cenas, and then reattach them to themselves. If that makes sense. Why wouldn't I do the same stack method though, and do like the same? I don't. I don't freaking. Oh God. 
because the I know for a fact that heating up the lower legs of these Cena's, it's like really, really thick. It's like super thick. Giggity. So, I really don't know how this is going to go. I may just heat all this up at once, and it may be garbage. It may not even work right, and it may piss me off, but you know what, Brad? You got to risk it to get the biscuit, and I just ruined that just then. I'm just going to heat up all this. This isn't going to work. Christ. While that heats up, though, I'll probably tape the torso of these Usos to make sure I don't get any black paint on their lower belly. Let's get it. I'm not looking forward to touching this, Brad. This is gonna burn a little. All right, let's get it. All right, this one actually got heated up pretty decent. I don't know how much heat I'm gonna need, but I need to make sure that I keep these with their right pairings. So as I separate these, oh God, I'm gonna put them like spread apart. So that's green shoe with that leg and so on and so forth. That way I don't like ruin anything. Okay, this is actually, this is actually turning out pretty decent. Like the separation, it's probably putting it back together that will suck eggs even that will suck eggs even more so there's that got both of the cena legs detached now we got to work on getting these reattached or not reattached but unhooked all right there is the one leg this right leg will go this is the left leg okay the left leg will go up here i'm trying to keep these all lined up here here's the peg just in case we need it put that there and then the other leg over here all right so we got all this lined up again what sucks is we're gonna have to reheat this and we're gonna have to keep it all together did that peg stay in there okay yes it did all right there's that this side is completed put that uso over there now plop this off i'm on again guys i'm really shocked that we even got all these lower legs detached like that and that one even got detached so this is actually a pretty successful uh little turn of events here get the peg out again make sure we don't lose that going over on this side again i did not expect all those to come off i'm gonna be real with you thought for sure that we would run into some sort of bull crap or gimmick garbage idiot. Alright, this goes there, that goes there, these go with these. Now what we gotta do is we now have to attach the lower legs of the Usos to the Cena shorts or the Cena knees. And it's gonna look a little bit weird because this is the Roman. You really can't tell that much though. You can't tell that much except when you look at it closely. But alright, I think the Roman used the Usos peg. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think it used the Cena peg. But I could be wrong about that actually now that I look at it. I don't know. Probably, probably we should try the Cena first, and then if it's too loose, we'll switch it. So I guess what we're gonna do now is we can get rid of the Cena calves. Just make sure we don't freaking, you know, mess up the, you know, mess up the legs here and keep them all uniform. That way we know where they go and we don't mess anything up. All right, those go with those. Pegs, I'm gonna pull off to the side here because I'm pretty sure they're all gonna use the same pegs. All the Cena pegs are still here. These all go here. Except for this one. This one stayed in there. Probably gonna have to use these pliers. And then, you know, this out. Perfection. All right, now we're going to heat all four of these up and hopefully we can actually get them all heated up enough and they'll actually go on to the Cena legs. All right, here we go. And you know what I just thought about? I do not remember which legs were which, but I'm pretty sure they're all the same mold. I don't think it's going to matter once we pop them back on the Usos, but let's hope that's not a problem. <laughs> Alright, that was a very long time, so now I'm afraid that I'm gonna burn myself. Oh my god, I forgot. Why did I even, dude, why did I heat up the knees? What an idiot. That was stupid. That was so stupid. Because now it's going to be like, I should have worn gloves. Now it's going to be like borderline impossible to get this on. Hopefully not. All right, here we go. I typically don't use a rag like this or anything, but first time for everything, I guess. You know what I probably should do? Slide the peg out through this method where you push it through there and then just shove this sheesh right through. Probably going to use the rag again. Yeah, let's get back to the rag method. And just sh Oh my god. It's... Uh... All right, it pushed through. Did it push all the way through? No. Oh, that's almost on there. Boom. Ha ha ha. 
we got it. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right, let's do it again. We got to do it three more times, so that's just excellent, but we got it, so that's that's a huge deal. All right, pushing this through here. I don't know if that's going to go. My thumbs are hurting. Ugh. I need to go back to the damn rag here. Did we get that? Oh, my God, did we get that, too? Oh, let's go. Boom. Look at that right there. That is exactly what we wanted, Brad. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're coming together now. Yeah, the Uso pegs definitely wouldn't have worked. I mean, that's what I'm figuring out. That's what I'm learning right now. That's what my new brain tells me. And then shoving this through again. Oh, God, that hurt a little bit, but I'm all right. Come on, Brad. Clearly... The plastic is cooling off, and it sucks. Mmm. Mmm. All right, you know what? We'll move on to the last one. If I can't get this one, I'll uh, fix it when you guys aren't looking, I guess. But let's go ahead and try this anyway. Last one. That one's, like, almost there. It's not quite there yet. But these were also in the back, so they probably didn't get the same amount of heat. Yeah, it's not looking good, Brad. All right, you know what? We may just have to move on to the paintwork, and when you guys see these, they will, they will be connected. What I'm gonna do is move on to the paintwork, we'll get that sealed up, and then I will heat these up and reconnect them to the Usos, and we will look at them at the very end. So let's go ahead and hit it. done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Guys, so pretty much what I did was I just got a little bit of the painting in there, and then I went ahead and attached the legs, and one thing that is disappointing about the Usos, we'll get into them in just a second to showcase it. I think honestly, it's kind of difficult because you can see the waistline. It's kind of like this is like their boxers or briefs, if you will, underneath. You got the white lines on the toes, the white lines right here at the top of the ankles, and it kind of all ties into the white wrist tape, but I don't know. You guys can let me know down below. Do you think the black wrist tape would look better. I don't know. I think it probably would look pretty damn good. I don't know. I think that's just, you know, which looks the best, you know? I think I'm also going to get them some hoodies or some sleeveless hoodies to wear or something like that. I think that would also make it look super badass. Possibly one of them could rock a sleeve or both of them wear alternate sleeves or something like that. I think that would even make them look even better. But I think at the end of the day, I think what would have made them like over the top great is no paint at all. And what I mean by no paint at all would be like, I'm probably going to have to send these off. So you guys can probably see here by the way they're standing, right? Like, their basis is too wide, and that's because these legs uh, don't go low enough. So on the Roman crotch, his his crotch is not low like the Usos crotch, so his legs can come together like so, but on the Usos, it won't do that. So that is why they have, like, this wide base. Like, they won't stay like this. It pushes out a little bit, so that does bother me some. I think it would look a lot better if they could bring their legs in more. I think that would actually make it look a whole lot better. So what I may have to do is there's a couple things we can do. Uh, one thing we could do is completely take these legs off, crack the torsos, and then just, you know, just leave these crotches black for another custom down the line, or, or maybe somebody else could use them. Maybe you could do something like that. And at that time, when we would crack the torsos, you would take these legs and this, and these, you know, the upper half and the lower half, not the crotch piece, and switch out the crotch piece for either a Roman Range crotch piece with the belt on there and make it look like they have, you know, regular John Cena shorts on, or you could switch out the crotch piece for the Milko Mania Kurt Angle crotch piece that has, it's pretty much the Usos crotch piece, but in black. So that's your two different options, unless you just want to put it on a random black crotch. That doesn't really matter. Like, I have a bunch of just random black crotches with ball joints on it. It just won't give you, like, the, you know, the details, like the, I don't know what you call that, like the waistline, you know, the, 
like the waistline and like the lines from the joggers and the lines from the you know like the tight waist you know the waistband pretty much so I don't know there's a bunch of different things you could do right there honestly at the very beginning of the day had I known that that would happen I could have just torso cracked the Cena's torso cracked the Usos and then you know just switched the torsos over to the Cena cross and then painted the rest of the belt white and that would create a whole new attire there then you could throw in your custom accessories maybe a sleeve or two whatever the case I don't know I'm having fun with it though I think I'm still gonna uh, attempt with it I don't like that the legs don't go together though that does kind of bother me I don't know I'll figure it out though and I'll let you guys know but I do know that the Roman crotch obviously hangs low enough that his legs can go together so the Roman crotch may be the move I don't know we'll just have to see we'll play it by ear but nonetheless they still look good I like what they got going on I may or may not add the red to the legs you guys can let me know do you like the red on the legs like on the Roman I feel like Roman since he's the tribal chief he should have the red on his legs you know it, it differentiates him a little bit more he's got the red on the gauntlets all that stuff I'm also in the process of getting more arms and gauntlets or I'm probably going to recreate this Roman except on an Elite 79 figure to give him the updated you know better looking tattoos updated gauntlets and he'll still look like this a better head sculpt too this isn't the true effects version so I don't know I'm in the process of getting that all squared away as well we got a lot of fixing up to do and uh, so the Roman Reigns and the Bloodline and the Usos are going to be ever expanding as we head into the big old show the show of shows here but let me know what you think of the Usos guys I think they still turned out great regardless even if I just leave them like they are you guys can let me know what you think but nonetheless here's our updated Roman right here which is the arms and the head sculpt and everything that we're going to grab from here and put him over here to you know update those so if we combine those that's pretty much what you would get except with red on the gauntlets and then we have our two Zigglers you have the fantasy attire with the updated Elite 70 and these boots which looks really good I like the way that turned out and then this one is super fun I freaking love this I've been waiting to do this fix up forever I thought of it way long ago and and finally I can finally make it happen after all this time so I'm very excited to add this up on the shelf and uh, I'll probably use this as my current Ziggler uh, you know with pay-per-views and predictions and all that stuff so I am super excited for the way that turned out but that is going to do it for our entire action figure surgery episode guys I hope you guys did enjoy a lot of stuff going on probably a long episode but I hope you guys did enjoy it anyways let's go ahead and dive into our random shout out for today's video and this shout out is going to go to Wrestling Redhead who says Adam Cole kicked Finn's John Brown football head off Brad and that came from our NXT Vengeance Day review guys if you guys missed that definitely go check out the review great show I thought it was fantastic if you want my full thoughts on that show and everything that happened my reactions to everything definitely go check out that video but a huge shout out to him for that comment guys thank you so very much if you guys want a random shout out leave me a comment like the video subscribe and turn on the bell so that uh, you can get a random shout out but thank you guys for watching and don't cross the line you cross the line I've been beaten.